Today, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 3.1 into DOSBox. Not VirtualBox, DOSBox, because, um, yeah. Okay, so first, um, if you don't have an ISO already, you need to go to WinWorld. It's a really good site. I'm going to link it in case you're too lazy to type it out. You want to go to here. Uh, for this, I'm just going to do 3.1, and actually, I already do have a disk image. It's the IBM OBM. I'd recommend that. What you want to do after you got it is you want to copy these. Then you go into your DOSBox folder that you've made. Uh, mine is DOS. I don't know about yours. And you're going to make a new folder. For mine, I'm just going to call it Win31 because this is Windows 3.1. It's temporary. And you want to paste it. You want to paste them in there like that. But now what you want to do is you want to go here. Oh, yeah, installed 7-zip too. You need, you need 7-zip. You want to extract your files. And it should just, it's going to take probably a bit. You want to delete those. Oh, God. And what you want to do now is you just want to go through all of these and select them like that and move them all into the folder above like that. Okay, after you've done all of that, it should look something like this, or not. Um, okay, what you want to do now is launch your DOS box. Make sure it's, you know, launched, normal. And have your thing mounted. mounted. Then you go to C, directory, and then... CD Win 31 or whatever you've called it. Then type setup like that. Mom, you're setting up Windows 3.1. I found this absolutely cool. You just press enter a few times. <laughs> you wait for the uh, setup to do that. And it's just going to install like that. When it shows a printer, just click cancel. You want to skip the tutorial. And if you reboot, the funny thing here is... Um, <laughs> just quits! <laughs> okay, but look at this. It created its own things. Now that's pretty cool. Launch DOSBox again. And you don't type win. That makes it that makes it an illegal command. So you want to go to your CD Windows now. Then you type win, and yeah, you got your Windows 3.1. <laughs> it's actually really cool, man. You can go to run. You can Winver. Boom! It's, it's Windows 3.10. It's because of the IBM one. I don't know if something like that. You you can do that. You learn my Windows three point one. If you want to close it, you just do that. That's how you get Windows three point one in DOS box.